I have cool tools. I showed this to you once, once or twice already. So I will prove it to you. I will just prove it to you that the those calculations that I did over here are actually correct, but I will not use the 2.4 uh, gigahertz because really the differences are getting very, very small and it's like hard to measure anything. We're gonna check it for the 868 megahertz band. How? I'm gonna take a wire and I'm gonna just pretend it's an antenna, I'm gonna plug it here. I will not make any plug or anything like this, I will just put it inside the uh, SMA connector and first I'm gonna cut it to 86.4 millimeters which should be the quarter wavelength uh, in the void so 300,000 kilometers without any velocity factors of the wire let's check uh, it's not so simple I'm gonna measure from the point where this is leaving the copper wire is leaving the the plug, so we have really an. So it's uh, okay, let's do it. Uh, I'm gonna measure nine centimeters, 90 millimeters, because I know that there is about four millimeters uh, required to plug it inside. Um, let's cut. Let's cut. Uh, it's not so simple to cut anything like this, but okay. More or less correct. Yeah, more or less correct. Maybe it's even slightly too long, but should be fine. I put it inside. Let me verify if the length... Oh, no. And the length over here is 86 millimeters. I did correct computations. Let's see. Okay, no, okay. I I was getting looking at this in the wrong way. So we're gonna take a look at this from the range of 400 megahertz. Oh, maybe I can zoom in. Uh, not this way. From more or less 400 megahertz to 1.3 gigahertz. And uh, okay, I touched something. Okay. So right now the antenna is tuned at more or less 827 MHz. Why? Because it's too long. If the antenna is longer, then it's tuned to the lower frequency. We have to make it shorter to make it tuned to 868 MHz. How to make it shorter? We're gonna cut something. Uh, what we want, we want 868, so we had 86, okay, I've cut like, I have no idea how much I cut, and right now we are, well, I have probably cut slightly too much. But now, let's say that the tune is better, it's closer to what we wanted. What we do? We measure how long the antenna is right now. 82 millimeters. You see? It is 82 millimeters. Let's take... Let's do some math. And original 86.4 millimeters, which is quarter wavelength for 868 MHz, times 0 0.95. 82.8. Come on, coincidence? I don't think so. This is the proof that, first of all, antennas are not so simple and you can do really amazing stuff with them. Next, the dielectric constant and velocity factors really exist and you have to take them into the consideration. 31.25 millimeters it's absolutely not the current wavelength for the 2.4 bandwidth for the RC link. Uh -uh. No, 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 no. You're telling bullshit every time you're saying something like this. And finally, this is awesome device that helps you. Oh, I will show you something else. Many people like to think that 
they can, for example, bend the antenna. No, bending it will be next time. Uh, let me find uh, something like a sleeve for my cable. Like this. Okay, now it's isolated. See? It's shifted slightly, shifted again, but this is not really affecting the velocity factor so much. And now I'm gonna connect my pseudo antenna to the connector. Touch, let's say, slightly touch. I'm gonna slightly touch to the piece of the carbon fiber. Oh, you see how this affected? the resonance place of the antenna never absolutely never place your antenna at the arm of the quadcopter because it's not nah, you're cutting like 80 percent of the range really trust me antennas should be like floating in the air not touching not being close to anything i will show you something else for example what happens when you want to make your antenna shorter uh, so i'm gonna like i don't know like do something like this i just like it's not straight. Let's connect. Whoa! Do you see it? Once again, we have changed the antenna characteristic. Only by not keeping this more or less straight, but making a spiral and introducing some fancy stuff like inductance and uh, actually also modifying slightly the capacitance we change the tune of the antenna and I straightened the antenna again and it's tuned again. What have we learned today? 31.25 millimeters is a myth, it's total crap, it's bullshit. It's not so simple to make an antenna, you have to know some math, do a math like I did here. It was maybe not the best explanation and probably made a few mistakes so maybe someone smarter and more educated in this topic can correct me if I'm wrong. I'm wrong. I know I'm wrong. And never, 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 never attach your antenna to the quadcopter arm because you're messing up, you're fucking up the antenna completely and never bend it. Don't, don't believe me that even bending the antenna affects this. Uh, proof. More or less tuned, not perfect, and now I'm gonna do something like this. Whoa! We change it again. Not that much, but slightly again. Oh, it moved again, and I more or less only bended the antenna. So, question. Do you want to know more about that crop? If yes, then please thumbs up. I'm, I'm Maybe I will have even, I will reserve some time to make more videos about antennas and this crap. In the meantime, I think this is all for today. Thank you for watching. Please thumbs up, please subscribe, and until the next one. Arrivederci. Bye. Yeah. I love this stuff. It's so awesome.